of the line. I'll leave the rest to you. I'm counting on you. Super Gogeta and Super Vegeta, inside of the old Dragon Ball Z Budokai games, would absolutely shred the entire competition as being the most powerful characters in those games. However, unfortunately in modern day, that is no longer the case. Gogeta and Vegito, I won't lie, are very solid characters inside of Xenoverse 2, however they don't hold a candle to what the CAC can do and even some other cast characters. They're solid, but that's about it. But today I'm hoping to change that. I'm hoping to make Gogeta and Vegito feel like they once did in the old Dragon Ball Z Budokai game. And that's where my next update for my Gameplay Hunter add-on comes in which adds in the character-exclusive Super Souls for Super Gogeta and Super Vegito. But I know what you guys are looking forward to, and that's the details of these characters. So, we'll start out with Gogeta, and of course, before we start, if you have any feedback regarding these changes, either good or bad, please feel free to leave a comment, or if you have your, any of your own suggestions for character-exclusive Super Souls, feel free to leave a comment. But let's just quickly get into the details, starting with Gogeta. So, Gogeta now has a character-exclusive Super Soul on his second outfit, his one with the Halo, named Warrior Reaching the Pinnacle. And the effects are, at the start of the match, applies the following effects to self. He gets 30% to his base max health. Gogeta actually does have a pretty good health stat, but this is Gogeta we're talking about, so I will be buffing his health even more. Following in line with the health buff is, he actually gets an 80% buff to his max key and key recovery. 80% key, which is 8 key bars. Gogeta doesn't have a lot of keys, so I wanted to give him a lot more key, along with some extra key recovery to speed up regaining all of that key. His next effect, following in line with that, is he actually gets a 30% stamina, and stamina recovery buff. Gogeta has a lot of stamina, so I didn't want to go too crazy with buffing his stamina. On the opposite end of the defensive side with stamina, we have an offensive buff of a 100% damage buff, which is permanent. As far as I know, this is actually the highest inflicted damage buff and a base stat increase of all these characters. On the opposite end of the inflicted damage buff, he actually gets a 15% damage reduction buff, which is a permanent effect which activates at the start of the match. This will allow Gogeta to take a bunch more hits, and with the added health increase, Gogeta won't be going down without a fight. The sixth effect is something you you guys saw in my last video, one of these characters, the effects gain when boosting allies effect plus 70%, Roly and Bardock I believe were 30%, Gogeta 70%, and his seventh effect is a new one, nullifies all status ailments a permanent buff. This includes poison, slowdown, paralysis, burn, freeze, and heavy stamina breaks. However, after the stab boost, of course, as you guys know, is where things usually get pretty interesting. And as you saw by the trailer, you might recognize this one. The eighth effect of Gogeta Super Soul is when an ultimate attack is aimed and connects with this character, the following effects apply to self, 20 times only. First off, it cancels the attack. What this means is if a beam gets shot at Gogeta, the attack will immediately be canceled after Super Soul activates, completely nullifying all the damage. However, the second and third effect of effect eight is the first time this happened, Gogeta actually gets a bit of a status buff. He gets a 25% inflicted damage buff and a 5% damage reduction buff. This makes it so your enemy's really not going to want to shoot ultimates at you, as it would have deadly consequences if they do shoot an ultimate at you and it connects. This effect, of course, activates 20 times and makes Gogeta a formidable monster for hard contact. Gogeta, though, also has a ninth effect, and the ninth effect for Gogeta is when this character just guards an attack, the following effects apply to self, 10 times only. He first off gets an inflicted damage buff of 5%, he gets a 2% damage reduction buff, and then he gets a 5% stamina and key recovery buff. Up to 50% damage, 20% damage reduction, and 50% stamina and key recovery. These are permanent buffs that stack on top of his base stats from his original first effect, where all his stat boosts were calculated. This makes it so Gogeta, effectively with all his stats, gets 125% inflicted damage, and with an ultimate attack and all the damage you're doing, you will absolutely just shred through any enemy that stands in your way with an insanely high damage 
damage reduction of 40%. The second highest damage reduction any character can get, minus future Gohan at 42%. Gogeta, with all his health though, having the highest amount, will easily be the hardest to take down. Gogeta though also has majorly high key recovery and stamina recovery buff, to where his stamina recovers super fast and his key will recover super fast as well. His key recovery gets so high, it almost rivals Divinity Unleashed as a permanent buff. Gogeta is a great character to bring as a bot, but of course playing as him, as I assume some of you will probably do, he also has his own limit burst as well. Now, custom limit bursts I've introduced only old two characters, Majin Vegeta has one, and then Super Gogeta as well has one. As you saw by the trailer, it gives him damage immunity and regen for 30 seconds. Damage immunity is 100% damage reduction, and of course, regen is just health regen for those 30 seconds. Gogeta is the ultimate last resort character that can pull you out of a sticky situation in no time. Hopefully with this new character exclusive Super Soul, Gogeta will be seeing a lot more play now. However, as you guys saw by the title, Gogeta's not the only character getting a Super Soul. Vegito is as well. And without any further ado, let's just hop right into Vegito's details. Though I want to quickly say this, since Gogeta and Vegito are getting Super Souls, Pycon, Super Janemba, Gotenks, and Buhan are also getting their character exclusive Super Souls. However, their breakdown videos will be on my second channel, Warden Games, so I go more to a deep dive of their breakdowns in that channel. The video will probably be linked up in the card, or it'll be linked in the description if you want to see the details for Gotenks, Buhan, Janemba, and Pycon. They have some interesting abilities. I'd highly recommend trying them out in game two if you were to download the gameplay enhancer. But let's can quickly get into Vegito. Gogeta and Vegito will of course be covered in this video. Pycon, Janemba, and all of them will be covered in the other one. But let's get into it now. So Vegito's Super Soul is called That Was Your First Mistake, which is of course present on all three costumes of Vegito. It should also be mentioned, every time a character exclusive Super Soul gets added, their move sets are completely revamped as well. Vegito has a completely new feel for all three of his variations with the skills he has equipped. For example, the Gogeta variation of Vegito was removed and just replaced with a normal Vegito variant. Gogeta now has like Dragon Ball Super Gogeta's Punisher Drive and little things like that you might expect on these characters now that they're getting buffed. But let's get into the stats. The stats actually are the exact same as Super Gogeta's. He gets all the same base max stamina and key recovery buffs. You might be wondering why. Well that's because they have very similar stat spreads and Vegito being on equal power with Gogeta of course will get the same exact stats. However the 8th effect is where things differ. And Vegito's 8th effect is when the targeted enemy uses an ultimate attack the following effects occur to self for 7 seconds. 20 times only. Gain unbreakable super armor. Nothing will be able to penetrate the super armor, not even gigantic key blast. The second effect is during this 7 second window, Vegito gets a 100% damage increase on top of his 50% damage increase from his base stat. This means if you transform into Super Vegeta, you will be de effectively dealing 200% plus damage to your enemy. And to coincide well with this effect is, the third effect of effect 8 is immediately restore stamina to 100% whenever stamina recovery is activated. What this means is if your enemy throws out an ultimate attack and your stamina is at zero, you will immediately recover it to 100% and then you'll be able to swipe behind your enemy's stamina break them and absolutely shred through them. If you're getting comboed and they hit you with like a gigantic key Blast or a Super Kamehameha or something like that, you will take no damage 20 times. This will make Vegito an effective way to get out of a sticky situation and allows some room for error when playing. However, Vegito also has a ninth effect, which is actually similar to Gogeta's. It's actually the same exact effect as Gogeta has, however, Vegito doesn't get damage at all on this effect, and that's because Vegito's damage potential is higher than Gogeta's, but it only activates 20 times. However, Vegito, in his ninth effect, it gets damage reduction and stamina recovery, but Vegito gets up to 30% damage reduction instead of 20%, and he gets 70 percent stamina key recovery instead of 50 percent. Meaning after Vegito's charges run out, Gogeta has higher offensive potential, but Vegito has higher defensive potential. And in fact, Vegito gets 45 percent damage reduction, which is a new record for the highest amount of damage reduction any of these characters can have. And is easily the best character to bring in the quest if you're good at actually making use of his Just Guard effect, which is also supplemented by his Limit Burst effect, which is Auto Just Guard, which will allow you to quickly block attacks in a sticky situation to get all your stacks in, to be a tanky monster with your extra health and everything. Hopefully these two new Super Souls will allow you guys to have a lot more fun playing as Vegito and Gogeta and make them feel like their old Dragon Ball Z Budokai counterparts being the best characters in those games, so hopefully they'll be the best character in these games as well.